Malin Line can exclusively disclose that Olivia Atwood wed Bradley Dack in a lovely wedding in London. There wasn't a dry eye in the house when the former Love Island actress, 32, and Blackburn Rovers player, 29, exchanged vows on Saturday afternoon at the opulent five-star Bulgari Hotel in Knightsbridge. Olivia looked gorgeous in one of two exquisite dresses she wore on the day, one of which was a custom-made £30,000 lace-sleeved gown by designer Galia Lahav in front of 80 friends and family, with her delighted father, Kai, at her side. Bradley was overcome with emotion as he saw his wife for the first time as Olivia went down the aisle on her father's arm with her mother Jen watching in front of them. The wedding of Olivia and Bradley is the first ever to take place at the Bulgari Hotel, which red floral architecture has decorated with 10,000 roses and more than 25,000 individual flowers to create the most beautiful environment for the pair to meet at the end of the aisle. The joyful event's exquisite black tie dress code and the female attendees' all-black ensembles added refinement to the happy couple's big day. Mikey Dash, a celebrity hair and makeup artist whose clientele include Rebel Wilson and Amanda Holden, created Olivia's wedding glam. While the presenter opted not to have any bridesmaids, the documentary maker, whose wedding was documented for her TV series Olivia Marries Her Match, was backed by her recently wed sister Georgia and lifelong friend Charlotte. Bradley, who was joined by his tearful mother, father, and sister, looked sharp in a custom Charles Campbell suit as he wed Olivia, the lady he first proposed to in 2019. After the pair repeatedly postponed their wedding owing to the worldwide epidemic, their three-year-long nuptials have been planned by famous wedding planner Julie Perry. However, the wait was well worth it as the sun beamed down on the London Hotel, Hyde Park could be seen off in the distance, and guests sipped champagne while taking advantage of the balmy weather. Georgia Harrison and Amber Davis, who she met in 2017 when the three of them were together on Love Island, joined Olivia as her closest pals. Nicole Bass and Fran Parman, two former TOWIE stars who remained close to Olivia after her appearances on the IT program in 2019, also attended. After saying Ido, the newlyweds were ready to dance the night away with the function band, who have also performed at parties for celebrities like Mark Wright and Billy Fairs and shared the stage with Grammy Award winner Louis Capaldi. The after party, where everyone can truly let their hair down, begins when Olivia and Bradley cut their eight-year wedding cake, which cost £10,000 and was created by upscale cake designer GC Couture. And none other than tattoo artist Pablo, who tattooed the Beckham boys Cruz and Romeo at his shop The London Social, is waiting in the wings to execute tattoo favors for inebriated wedding guests. Pablo is a former ring girl who is the first to confess that she enjoys a party. The newlyweds will return to Dubai, where Bradley proposed, after their honeymoon, which begins after their wedding day has come to an end. Before Olivia found stardom on Love Island and became a fan favorite on one of the show's most popular seasons, they first met eight years ago at London's Libertine nightclub. The night before Olivia was about to leave for Mallorca, which would undoubtedly turn out to be the summer that altered her life, Bradley knocked on her door and begged her not to participate. Olivia quickly reminded him that he had broken his commitment, so this is what it is. Soon after their failed romance with Chris Hughes, an ex-Love Island co-star, Olivia said it had shown to her where her heart had always been. Olivia recalled, I met this guy in Libertine nightclub about eight years ago because I loved a free drink and he had a cute smile. Tomorrow I'm marrying him, while posting a photo of herself kissing Bradley's hand on the eve of their wedding. Contemporary love tales, Olivia went on to feature on TOWIE, Celebs Go Dating, Celebrity Karaoke Club, and the games after her stint on Love Island. Then she was given the opportunity to star in her own reality show, Olivia Meets Her Match, which followed her and Bradley as they prepared for their eagerly awaited nuptials. Her documentary series Getting Filthy Rich from the previous year addressed subjects including OnlyFans, the porn business, webcam girls, and sugar babies. She became the first former Love Island participant to be cast on I'm a Celeb, 
Reiterating her status as not just off and favorite but also a beloved member of the IDV family, a routine test revealed she had dangerously low potassium levels, and the producers decided it was too risky for her to continue after just 24 hours in the Australian rainforest. Fans began to speculate that she was pregnant or that COVID-19 rules had prohibited her from rejoining the group that included musician boy George and Prince Mike Tyndall after she had departed for testing at a local hospital and was not let back into camp. Olivia discussed her grief and irritation about having to leave the show and deal with backlash from viewers who thought she had left in an interview with the Mail on Sunday. She stated in November that the speech had an underlying sexist tone. They are speculating that she may have fainted, been afraid to sleep outside, or decided against it because it was pouring. It was incredibly aggravating since I am the exact opposite of that, and to make matters worse, viewers could see on the broadcast how much I was enjoying it. There was nothing on the show to which I would have said no. I'm a nature geek so I loved seeing all the bugs, and I even saw a kangaroo, so I was really in my element, I said, and I was embracing every moment of it. Bradley's six-year tenure with Blackburn ended this season as a result of the championship team's decision not to extend his contract. The striker, who amassed 50 goals for the Wood Park Club, has been plagued by injuries lately, but he'll be trying to restart his career this summer by joining a new team.